Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Station Ears. Um, I left it last time saying I was going to expand this base, which I think I'm going to try and do in this session. Push this wall out a bit, uh, it'll drop the pressure in here. Actually, I might want to take those potatoes first. I don't want to drop pressure and the temperature too far. I tell you what, I do want to do is just quickly swap that over. We'll see. I can start doing the work and then decide what I'm going to do with that before I uh, break through into the next room. For now, let's get outside and get some frames. How's my battery to 65? And I will. Oh, God, it's the same. Let me get some water. Water bottles full again, so just turn that off. Alright, take two. Ooh, close my helmet. Must close my helmet and lock it. Right, so steel frames. They can come from here. Where did I put that steel that I made? In here. So, what do I need for wood kits out of curiosity? Steel. I could do with splitting that steel. Um, which one does a stacker? I think it's this one actually. Yeah, that one, what does that take? Iron and copper. Do we need copper anywhere else? There's some steel in there. Actually, you know what? What I will do is take that steel. I shouldn't need any more than that for what I want. And I want steel frames. I need six steel frames. Battery power still okay. I'm going to create the tool mod upgrade kit. So I can upgrade my um, suit and backpack, air jetpack, and things. And I work towards getting the um, lenses for being able to find ores without a search for them. Okay, that's six of those. Next, I want steel sheets. I'll need 12 steel sheets. While that's running, I'll just dump some of this stuff up my inventory. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Just want my jetpack over. Halfway there. How are we doing on that one? It's halfway. Oh, and I am out of steel. Bugger. Okay, I'll have to wait till that finishes, but what I can do in the meantime is... Lay down these. I'll have the issue again with them. Um, um, the soil coming over them, so... I'll try to set this flatten again. I'll come back here. 
turned on. Let's see if I can get this to flatten. Come on. Now you want to. Okay, so let's flatten that off. Make sure I set that back to normal. That battery needs replacing as well. Um, I have steel sheets. I have my welding torch. I can. Yeah, it's still coming through, isn't it? It's still not filling it. Um, exposing it properly. So we'll have to just do it like this. Just take it down a little bit so it doesn't um, show through when I put the rest of the steel sheets in there. Printer mode, yes we got that. Some screwdriver. And applied to this printer. Now we can see what we need for certain things. So sensor lenders, what do we need for those? We need steel, silicon and ink canal. Sink a new one. What do we need for Inconel? Inconel. 50 gold, 25 steel, 25 nickel. Okay, we could do that. And then to go with that, you need the, the chip. It looks like a mobile phone SIM card. Here we go. Sensor processing unit. Celestial scanner, no. Uh, meson scanner, no. Or scanner, that one. What does that take? Iron, gold, copper and silicon. So we can do that one fairly simple. So all we need is ink canals, the additional one for that. So first thing first, I want to stop that, get rid of there. Check the steel from here. There's the steel, put that in here. Um, copper, got the copper, stick that in there, and I'll quickly make a stacker. Stacker will allow me to separate ingots out. And the rest of this can go back inside this printer. So stack out, let's just stick it out the way over here for now. Start tank low. Like so. Oh, just enough cabling. <laughs> and I can set this to say a hundred. If you press C while you click on this it Reduce it by one. Now steel, where did I put the steel in here? Let's check it out here again. So now if I put the steel, turn it on in here, we'll check out a hundred grams, which can go into there. I can Line can go back in there, and the copper can go back in there for now. Then, if I eject, it'll eject the other 65 grams, which can go back in here. And now I want to create steel sheets again. I need six of those. Turn that on. More kits. 
So we've got the auto lathe. No, we haven't. We've done electronics, but let's do the auto lathe next. Set that going. One more. There we go. So that's now enough to seal these. Actually, I want to bring that along as well. So another two steel frames, another four. How are you doing? Thirty nine percent. So another four. Oh, nine sheets. Steel sheet. Sorry. steel frames I want two steel frames come on right have I got any iron in here iron yes so now I need iron sheets because I will be needing for the walls I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, I think, and I've got six of crate, sin of the six. There we go, and oh, it's ejected, good. So I just Um, which one was this? This was your lathe, wasn't it? So that would be that one. Upgrade that one. And the last mod kit is the pipe bender. Do I have enough material to do it? Yes. Right. Let's turn that for now. Um, I need walls. 15 walls, that should be enough. And glass. No, jump too far. Okay, let's just stick the additional two frames up here. Steel. And a welding torch. Okay. Where's my screwdriver gone? There it is. Favorite trick: putting it into one of the something that's creaking and groaning. I don't know what. Is that you? Was it you? No, you're okay. Ah, there's liquid in the pipe, so this is where you've got to be careful. What I need is 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 a pipe drain. find it copper I need copper I'm gonna try and do this before that goes bang
It's nothing in here to near the toy. Copper. Too late, it's gone by. Okay, never mind, I can fix it. This is one of the problems with the new um, phase change. Right, so spanner. Let's get rid of that bit of piping. I'm probably going to need two bits of pipe to do this. So if I put one there. Actually I might need one, two bits. Um, let's think how to do this. Yeah, yeah. Stick that up there, then I can put the drain up there. Okay. There we go, I've got no fluid in there anymore. So I'll turn that back on. Now what was critical? My air tank. So how are we doing here? Okay. I know I've got that vent in there too. Stop bringing more atmosphere here, but it's not a problem at the minute. There we go. It's going out, that's the issue. Right, where were we? <laughs> There's always something to do. Headbutt that. Walls, walls. Here we go. So let's just build out these walls. The frames, now iron sheets. I think it'll be too many energy, so I think I need uh, 10, no, I need 11 actually. Right, and then glass. Filling these quickly. Behave. I don't like the way it gets jittery like that sometimes. You just go try and find the right spot. I've left that pane out for the moment because I want to just go and check on my potatoes, see how they're doing. You know what, let's harvest them. For now, and put two of them back. So, go in here. Last sheet of glass in. And now let's see what happens. Put a temperature pressure at 40 megapascals, that's okay. Um, 
Yeah, 40 is doable. Temperature is 30 degrees, that's not too bad. So I can take down these two walls as well. There we go, just made our base a bit bigger. And I will be moving this from here. Down to here. It's not perfect. Swing back. It's better. Power low. Um ah, spot the issue. <laughs> Bollocks. What I've done is I should have closed the outer door before I came in here because now the only way to close the outer door is to open this one and of course that's going to vent my room there is a way around it it's been annoying but there is a way around it and that's simply to build a temporary room here I will vent some of my atmosphere, but not as much as if I'd opened the door. Right, I'm going to lose what's in here while I do this. That's it. And now I can take this apart again. But obviously you need to have the bits on it to be able to do that at the time. If those bits are outside, yeah, yeah, you're kind of screwed. But uh, thankfully, because I've just been working on the walls, I had the bits on me. And let's dismantle again, this again. Right. What else? 4 kPa doing that. Um, just want to move this as well. Um, if you want to lay, place them in a specific in a specific position, you press T, and it allows that it sort of comes up with a green image of it, and you place it where you want. So I want that kind of there. Um, similarly with this, I want this up here, just sort of out of the way, really, to be honest. Right, put this battery back in here where it'll get a lot of more sunlight. There we go. When the sun comes up, that is obviously. They're growing in the dark. So, okay. Let's give us a bit more space in here. What I want to do now is, um, what I'm going to do is move my oxygen tank out of the way again. Is that going to get to that? Yes. And move my green box. And I'll be looking to put the air conditioner in here. Yeah, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the air conditioner down. I need to make the, the atmospheric unit. I've got a couple of other things I need to do first. Water's low again, so... Oxygen critical. That's because of pressure's low as well. There's not enough food there to do that. Tin as I can. And there'll be an empty tin somewhere. There it is. I can just go over there for now. Actually, you know what? No. Stick in the cupboard. Right, so that's that done. That's that done. Swap the battery. How am I doing for filters? Okay, okay, at the moment. I'm just going to leave that running for a little bit just to suck more air into there while I take this. It's still green, good. Which one's not been upgraded? You. There we go, that's all the printers upgraded. 
So we've now got an advanced furnace and all four printers upgraded. That's quite good. And I'm hoping this is now liquid free and staying liquid free. Oh, there is some pollution in there. But it's not actually going up really. And if I turn it off, what's it? Pressure out in there. If I just turn this off for the moment, that should drain away. Which it is doing. You can see the liquid pollution is going down. So that's why you need drains on these things. Turn it back on. Let's get the pressure back up in there. And I want to make sure I don't lose any of this in case a storm comes along. So put these away. Close the bloody hatch first. <laughs> The amount of times I do that. What did I need for that again? Copper, silicon, iron, and gold. Well, there's a the gold. There's a the silicon. There's the iron. That's steel, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Is that the wrong one? So what am I missing? Copper. Which I believe is in here. No, it's not. It is in here. Copper, yeah. So let's just quickly create a chip. And that can go in here for the time being. And then for the lenders I need steel, silicon and then canal. Stick the iron back in there, stick the steel in, in there. That's just ink and L. So where to put the other steel? 30 grams of steel, I'll take that. Stick it out of the way. Now let's have a quick check on this room. How are we doing? It's a pressure like. Oh, it's cold in here. Wow, it's cold. It's going to kill those potatoes. We're not careful. Yeah, pull too much air in here. And um, what have I got in here? Um, sensor. Arc furnace. Okay, the other bit must be outside. Portable air conditioner, that's what I want. Right, let's put that down and get a big battery. Stick it in. We want it to heat and turn it on. That will slowly warm this room. And this one, if there's any power left in the battery to get rid of the pollution. Pollution's gone down and the temperature is now to fit minus 15 degrees. The temperature's going up. Hopefully before my potatoes die. See that running for the moment? Means I'm gonna have to be careful on battery because I need another large battery. Okay. 
Okay, guys, so I think we'll leave it there for this episode. Um, I've expanded my room. I've put a drain on it. So you see what happens if you don't have a drain on the uh, gas pipe. They end up blowing out. Um, and I've now upgraded all my printers. So I think that's not too bad. Um, and I'll catch you next time. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK. Out.